What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have a patch 11 for Sons of the Forest. This update, they've added a whole new electrical system, and we're going to show you everything that we know about it, as well as the new battery that you can find in the environment now. We also have the inverted ramp as well. It's a ramp for a corner. They've added new cannibals and so much more. Let's get into it, shall we? So patch 11, spear cannibals, electricity improvements, new cutscenes, and more. We're going to be showing you all that good stuff. Hey, everyone, for this patch, they've revised the electricity system, added a new battery pickup to keep things running at night, and added a new limit to the amount of items that could be powered from a single source before your lights start dimming and eventually overloaded. And batteries can now be found near the broken down golf carts in the world and in some bunkers. They've added a new cutscene to the food bunker, give cannibals the ability to throw spears at players, and build effigies around the player's position. They've also extended Cave A to add a new section, which contains a new findable item, and added the option to make concave corner pieces in the building system. As always, post your bug reports and feedback in the discussions area of their community hub. We're going to go over all of these new features and show you all these in-game. The very first thing that we're going to show you is the new electrical system and new battery. Of course, the new battery, as they said, any kind of broken down golf cart, for example, right here is a bunker location, and we're going to look at this white golf cart. You'll see it flashing right next to it. There's two batteries here. And it would appear that you can actually only have three batteries in your inventory at a time. As you can see, we try to pick that up and it's shot out. We have three. So three is the limit you can carry at any given time. But you can also put them, if you have some solar panels already set up, it looks like they let you be able to place just a battery straight up on those, like so. So you could just connect those, and you don't have to rewire anything. So that should work quite nicely. The new solar panels does have a indicator there, kind of telling you if it's in sunlight or not. And it does look like the battery has a power on it as well. We're going to wait till dark here. We're going to show you how many lights it will light at night. And we're going to show you the electric fences too. Alrighty, and here we are at dark. So this panel right here is hooked up to the electric fences. And then this panel right here is hooked up to the lights. So one solar panel will do, it appears to be, nine lights. And if you go over nine lights... This is what happens. Let me show you. I got an extra bulb here. We oh. Oh, there's an electric fence there. I didn't I didn't think this through. It'll start surging, like so. So we got some additional light bulbs here we're gonna turn on and see what happens. Oh we tripped. So now you can see there's a little red marker on the light bulbs now. If we turn this one off, it's on, it's just surging. 10 is the maximum you can have on one battery. You add 11, you trip it. And you can hear there's a new sound effect too. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So that is the lights. Now for the electric fences, it is a grand total of 20 sections before the fence will actually shut off after you add 21. So you can only go up to 20 sections. So th what I call a section is this little area right here between posts. If you go and you look here, there's 20 of those up until right here. So this is the very last one. And if you were to add one more extra, it will just straight out trip and fail. And it turns the fence off completely. So there is no warning like with the lights. It gives like a flashing light before you're getting ready to trip. It just straight up trips after 20. And then it comes right back on when you fix the issue. And that's pretty much all the changes that they made to the electrical system and the new battery that they added. With the exception of that, you don't actually have to have solar panels on structures anymore, like over there on the house. And when you get ready to place it, well, all you have to do is kind of keep an eye out for that arrow the arrow is going to show you which direction the solar panel is actually facing so if you hold rt whatever you you got a key bond to 
you can rotate it and you'll see that little arrow there. You want to face it towards whichever way you want the panel facing. And then you just plop the battery in there and connect it to power. And you're good to go. So you don't actually have to have a structure anymore. They got their own little props now or brackets if you place them on the ground. The only bad thing is that if you haven't already placed one on a structure, it looks like they've just grandfathered the ones in. So you can't actually place this on a structure anymore, like on an angled structure or a roof. But if it's already been placed in the game, like this one right here before the update, looks like it's being grandfathered in. So you could still keep those, but you can, you can place them on the ground or a flat structure. But see, like this one right here is a very, very, very slight ramp. You can't place it on something like that, but we were able to actually place it on the floor right here, like so. So you could place it on a very level structure like this, but if it's got any kind of ramp or incline, it looks like you can't place it anymore. Unfortunately, unless they change that in the future. We had that one on there before. So we got the new cannibal that throws spears here. Oh, <laughs> it just got shocked. What in the world? Oh my god. <laughs> so this is the new spear throwing character. Whoa. And come on, throw no one. Go throw another one? You got another, you got another spear to throw or not? You, you gonna throw a spear? For the nice people? No? Okay, we'll move on to the next one then. Okay. That's fun. Ah! Rock! <laughs> and the next cannibal is the effigy placing one. <laughs> he just placed an effigy. His name's Greg! Bye, Greg. Oh, by the way, Greg. <laughs> there is a new item that you could go and check out in the rebreather cave. If you don't know where that is, if you look on the map there. Right here, it's the very north cave on the shore in this little cove here. We're going to go ahead and go in here with cave light on. I know I don't normally do this for videos, but... We're going to do it anyway, because I've, I've decided that you can't see a thing inside a cave vanilla. So we're going to turn it on real quick and show you guys the new cave system and also the new item. So spoilers, there's tons of spoilers in this update. So once you're inside, you're going to go straight. There's some new little things to check out. There's some new uh, gore stuff that hangs from the ceiling and whatnot, and some new things they added to the caves here. Pretty neat stuff. They actually look pretty cool. You can get the location of the, well, we already discovered it earlier, but the location of the entertainment bunker. So that will give you the location of the entertainment bunker now, which is pretty cool. I don't know if that's new this update, but it definitely is new to me. We're going to go through the cave here and show you how to get there. Just kind of passing enemies when they come. We, we still kind of have a, a normal game here. Just going straight through here. We're going to head right instead of left. Continue through here. And pretty much just go the only way you can, which is straight. Once you get to these stalactites here, and you'll see a dead body right here, you're going to head left, not right. Right goes up to a dead end. Head left. And you'll see some boards here. You're just going to knock them down. Like so. And you'll climb down the rope here. So it's a cave that goes down. And we'll just continue straight here. And this is the new cave part that they added. 
from the rope here. Bunch of skeletals. It looks like a bunch of slime and water on the walls. Bunch of skeletons. Back here is another part of the cave. And it leads up and around. That leads out. And then you got a board here with a cross on it. Bunch of goopy parts and... <laughs> Jesus. You got some gold here. And this leads to the very, very first artifact piece in the game. And you can't really do anything with it. It's just a piece that they added in the game. So that's the new question mark item they added in this update. And if you want to look at it, it's not to, it's to the right of the rifle here. And it's one out of question mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's a piece of artifact. So that's the new cave system and the new piece. Very gruesome cave. So if you don't want spoilers, you might want to skip ahead about a minute. We're going to show you the new cutscene once you walk into this area where the Puftons are in the residential bunker. Hello. And now if you light a fire inside of a structure, the sprinkler should put it out now. Oh. <laughs> and now baby's gib. Oh gosh! <laughs> well, that's so horrible. That's so horrible, right? I don't know. They're mutant babies, though. Shouldn't feel too bad for them. And of course, that was in the improvements this update. Frank the Fire Thrower will now actually be the leader of Nomad Families. You can also stack more than one level of Leaning Bean. Also, corner ramps will no longer use a full plank for each placement. Placing full planks will split it into a smaller size when appropriate and drop a pickup matching the rest of the quarter log planks. We actually didn't show you that. Let's show you that real quick. We're going to just go ahead and finish building this inverted corner here for you. We showed you it, I just want to show you how to actually build it. And as they stated, if you were to do, for example, down here, kind of low, the rest of the, the log is going to get cut like that. And then you could take that piece and use the pieces from it. The bottom corners are, are pretty bad for snaps, so it might take a minute or two. Oh, look, and it cut another piece off. Put that down. Try to stick it in there somewhere. That's what she said. There we go. Sometimes if you go underneath or behind, you'll get it. But the snaps in the bottom are absolutely horrific. If you even want to. There's a snap there somewhere. Let me see if we can go up top. Oh, there it is. Nice. And yeah, so this piece is just not long enough. We're going to need full pieces now. So if you build smart, build from the top down, and that'd probably be the smartest way to build these. They did improve the bunker food and bunker residential lighting, and the puffy is increased by 10% attack speed, 20% speed. And they also added a new tutorial for using electricity. 
If you're looking in the book here, you got to go to basic electricity past the rope bridge here. It looks like it's actually saying that you can still put a solar panel on the side there, but we tried doing that. It didn't work unless it's uh, stairs, but I don't believe that's the case. They also show upgraded electricity from the battery, but yeah, they got a basic tutorial in the book now, whenever you're in this mode on the right hand side, we're just going to skim over the fix section. Looks like they fixed the holes in the quarter log planks. And you can't be knocked down while holding a hang glider while in the air anymore. But if you're on the ground and you're holding a hang glider, the hang glider will now drop. In multiplayer, if any player in the game has high sentiment with Virginia, the Virginia Gold Room variant cutscene will be playing for all in order to enforce proper multiplayer sync when entering the final boss fight. The cave shark does spawn on low animal setting. The end boss stays above terrain now. Looks like they made a ton of changes to corner ramps. And in audio, we already showed you the electrical grid sounds. There is a Franklin fire sound improvement. They added a new place sound for the light. And in boss battle music will now stop while the player is dead. And that's it for this update. And we want to say thank you to the late night crew. KHX Sergio, Woofy Sandy, Silver John, EMC2, Diana, Rod Knob, Novocaine, Aaron, Juan, and Steady Bob. Thank you so much for being part of Late Night Crew and for supporting the channel. We appreciate it. And that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe and we'll get you Sons of the Forest update videos just like this one. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.